Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again, and I'm here with a comparison between the Xiaomi Mi 10 and the Black Shark 3. Now, these are the two phones that I think are kind of most even in terms of their specs and their price points. So coming in at 550 US dollars, you can get in with the Mi 10 to the Snapdragon 865 and the whole 5G revolution, but the Black Shark 3 just came this week and it has undercut the Mi 10 at a price of 3,500 won or 500 US dollars. Now these phones could not be any more different. The only similarity actually, I would say, is the display size, which is 6.67 inches on both of these phones. But let's have a look around these phones and then talk about which one of these phones is right for you. So let's get started. So talking about design and display together, let's do it. The major difference between these phones has got to be the design and the build. We're talking a nine millimeter versus 10.4 millimeter difference here. That is pretty significant. A full millimeter and a half between these phones and 208 grams versus 222. And you can just see it right there. Even with the same 6.67 inch AMOLED display size, the Black Shark 3 is significantly taller than the Mi 10 and these edges you can just tell they're just from a completely different design aesthetic this really just feels more like an old time phone while the Mi 10 is much more of a modern look there is the benefit of a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the Black Shark 3 and you can see USB-C on both of these phones. I do like the stealthy look of the Black Shark 3 but let's face it guys in terms of design this curved edge on the Mi 10 is just far more luxurious in the hand and it just looks a lot better in my opinion and the backs of these phones could not be any more different. This is going to be a polarizing design but I do like the shark logo and the way that you can set up lighting for it. It is pretty cool. This triangular kind of feature and the cutout is a little bit polarizing. It looks a lot better in person I would say but it still does not compare I think to the very clean look at the back here of the Mi 10. Even if it is a fingerprint magnet and kind of glossy it just looks so much better and more modern a design. And that extends to the front of the phones as well. Yes you get dual firing speakers on the Black Shark 3 series but what you also get are much much larger bezels and yes we do have a punch hole on the Mi 10 but I would still take that over the large bezels they just look antiquated for 2020 and yes we do have front firing speakers but honestly Xiaomi does have side firing speakers on the top as well in terms of design it's really gonna come down to your preference but I think most of you guys will be happier with the Mi 10 hands down just the more modern design of the two and then talking about display, 6.67 inches across the board here. And we do have DCI-P3, 90 hertz refresh rate on both of these phones. But where are the slight differences? 180 hertz touch sensing versus 270. So this is much more focused on gaming and that 270 hertz will really help out in that. And then also the aesthetic difference. This does have a curved edge to it, the Mi 10. It is a slight curve, but it's still more pronounced than I would like. You can see the slight ghosting that happens there. While on the Black Shark 3 series it is a flat panel display and you don't get any of that ghosting but what I will say that I have noticed about this Black Shark 3 panel is that it doesn't have the best viewing angles compared to the Mi 10 series I just noticed a lot more color shifting happens and I've also noticed that max brightness is not the best in this case compared to the Mi 10 series and you can see it there max brightness already on this phone I've noticed it just doesn't get as bright as I would like but let's face it the clear advantage of 270 hertz cannot be denied and the flat panel display is also something that I really enjoy but that being said the bezel experience on the Mi 10 is far more modern and when you have a large size display in a phone that's smaller like this one you really do appreciate it and it just feels so much more modern and so in terms of display despite the punch hole despite the slight curved edges I give it to the Xiaomi Mi 10. And here's some YouTube playback on the Mi 10 and the Black Shark 3. Same display size, and yet the Mi 10 looks so much more immersive. Those dual front firing speakers are a positive in terms of audio, but they do take away a bit from the viewing experience. Now I know what some of you guys are saying, this has a punch hole, this does not. This is the better viewing experience. And I would agree in that case, but it's just something about the size of the phone and the display that it holds that for me makes this still feel more immersive. I really do feel like I'm just holding all display here. And while I'm holding the Black Shark 3, I just know that I'm holding a big and heavy phone. And here's another area of advantage for the Mi 10. L1 versus L3. This was such a welcome sight when I saw this on the Mi 10, considering these are both China versions of the phone, 
and yet this has HD Netflix support out of the box. The L3 here on the Black Shark 3 is typical of China ROMs, but it's a pity because we do have it on the Mi 10. That's another point in the Mi 10's favor. And here are the Geekbench scores of the Mi 10 versus the Black Shark 3. And as you can tell, a very similar experience from both of these phones. And both of these are the 8GB versions. There are higher level versions of the Black Shark 3, including a 12 gigs of RAM option, UFS 3.0 storage on both phones. And so this is really where you start to wonder, are gaming phones really offering more to the experience? And yes, basically you are getting a very similar experience. You also have MIUI 11, which I think I prefer still over Joy UI 11. And yet when it comes to gaming performance, that 270 hertz touch response will be a little bit noticeable and the addition obviously of those haptic master control buttons all these other aspects that are gaming centric but when it comes down to it as you can see performance wise it's all the same and now a quick audio test i'm going to bring the mic down let's have a listen What can I say? A very interesting result here. So we do have, I think, pretty good stereo separation from both of these phones, but when it comes to clarity of sound, I still give it to the Mi 10. Now, it's not to say the sound quality is bad on the Black Shark 3. I would say in the mids, and especially with the xylophone in this song, it is much more defined on the Mi 10 versus the Black Shark 3. That said, in terms of gaming, that front firing speaker system will not be covered when you're holding the phone, and so so that will be one benefit and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is also a bonus on this phone but in terms of the audio speaker test i give it to the xiaomi mi 10. And in terms of battery, these two phones are actually more similar than we expected with a 4,780 mAh capacity on the Mi 10 and a 4720 on the Black Shark 3. Now, the Mi 10 was a great battery performer in my drain test, lasting the only phone lasting over 10 hours. And in charging with the 30 watt charger was a 58 minutes, zero to 100. That's the same charging speed we're gonna see here on this Black Shark 3 8, one to eight GB version, but the more expensive Pro model and the 12 gig models will have the 65 watt fast charging. So in that case, the Black Shark 3 will have the advantage. I would call this section a tie. The specs and the charging speeds of both of these phones are so similar, but if you're talking about the Pro, Black Shark, or higher versions, then the edge would probably go to the Black Shark 3. And now quickly talking about cameras, stay tuned for the camera comparison that will come in a separate video from this one. But just talking about the specs here, 108 megapixel main sensor on this Mi 10, and that is the highlight feature versus the 64 megapixel main sensor we've seen on a number of phones similar to this Black Shark 3. Now let's face it, the Black Shark 3 is not designed to be a camera beast and yet it still does include a 13 megapixel ultra wide and a five megapixel depth sensor. But with the Mi 10, you get a quad camera setup on the back, including the 13 megapixel ultra wide and a two megapixel macro lens, which should come in handy for certain types of shots and a two megapixel depth sensor. Both phones capable of shooting 4K 60 FPS, but the Mi 10 has the distinction of being able to go up to 8K Stay tuned for the full camera comparison, guys, between these two phones. And it's time for the PUBG showdown between the Mi 10 and the Black Shark 3. And as you can tell, HDR Ultra is the max setting we can get on both of these phones. Clearly, more optimization needs to happen on the Snapdragon 865 because I have the same issue on the Galaxy S20 Ultra. It's not a Xiaomi-only related issue. And we're going to play on realistic, anti-aliasing, and shadows enabled. And we've disabled auto adjust graphics. And let's get started. And it's time, it's time for another classic Frankie Tech swim test. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Woo! Oh yeah, and they're swimming good. And at the plane jump, how are we doing? With the Adreno 650, the Xiaomi Mi 10, showing absolutely no stutters whatsoever. And the Black Shark 3 is looking the same. Let's get down to the surface, get some guns, get some action. And I've landed in the water on the Mi 10, so better go get some guns and get them fast. And here I am on the Black Shark 3. I've landed in a pretty remote spot here on this phone. And they're shooting at me on both phones. I gotta get some guns real quick here. Oh, they're shooting at me. Take that. Oh, you just got a sickle. Oh yeah, there we go. Booyah. 
First kill on the Black Shark 3, and they are killing me on these phones real quick. I got a gun though, I finally got a gun. Take that! Booyah! First kill on the Xiaomi Mi 10. I'm just gonna stay right here on this phone, I'm sure someone's gonna come to me very soon. And we are in the red zone here on the Black Shark 3. I hope I don't get bombed. Oh man! And there's someone! Take that! Booyah! And that is super loud here on the Black Shark 3. Oh man. Take that. Oh yeah. Three kills on the Black Shark 3. And we've knocked out this dude. Oh, and I got the kill. I just totally stole the kill from that other guy. And how are these phones doing in terms of performance? Cool to the touch and cool to the touch. A terrific gameplay experience on both the Mi 10 and the Black Shark 3, but if you do want that more gaming-centric experience with the inclusion of master control, with the added front-firing speakers, and just more immersive, I'd say, audio in gaming, then your choice here is the Black Shark 3. So that's it for this video and my final verdict on the Mi 10 versus Black Shark 3. So in terms of pricing, we have two incredible deals for the Snapdragon 865 here. A 550 US dollar entry level for the Xiaomi Mi 10 and 500 for the Black Shark 3. And so to really answer this question, which is the better phone for you? I don't think you can really go wrong in terms of value with both of these phones. But if I had to pick one alone, I'm going with the Xiaomi Mi 10. And don't get me wrong, I do love gaming phones, and there's a lot of aspects of this Black Shark 3 that I do enjoy, but the Mi 10 is just overall a more well-polished and well-balanced product in terms of the camera specs, the battery, the display quality, and the design. And you're getting a lot of the same benefits from this Mi 10 with the Snapdragon 865 and 8 gigs of RAM, the UFS 3.0 storage, as you're getting from the Black Shark 3. But let's face it, a lot of you guys are also into gaming, and if you want that gaming-centric phone, I really do think this Black Shark 3 is going to be one of your best options. Coming in at 500 US dollars, it already undercuts the Mi 10, and if you can deal with the kind of slightly heavier build, the kind of slightly more uninspired design, in my opinion, Opinion, the larger bezels and a display that I wish could be a little bit brighter and seems maybe a little bit lower quality than the ones on the Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro, then the Black Shark 3 is your pick. But let's face it guys, these two phones are offering some of the best value that you can get for a flagship 5G enabled smartphone in 2020 and you really can't go wrong with either. But hit me up in the comments, which of these two phones would you pick? The Mi 10 or the Black Shark 3? Or are you waiting for something else? Hit me up in the comments, I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. Thanks for watching my content, guys. And I'm always gonna try to be as in-depth and as honest as I can be about all my experiences with these phones. Really do appreciate all the support from all my OG fans. You know who you are. Thanks once again. So that's it, and this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech, signing off. Have a good one.